This demo will show you how to optimize feed rates using the SenseNC feeds product from Productive Machines. Here you can see the component for which we wish to optimize some feed rates. And we know in this case that we wish to optimize a couple of operations here, sidewalls rough and floor finish. So in order to do this, we navigate to the optimization tab and select the SenseNC add-on. First thing you need to do is authenticate with our cloud service. And then this will read the data stored on our platform and also read data about the components, its operations and tools from Siemens NX. The first thing to do is to submit a new optimization, and then I'll show you how to import the results of an optimized toolpath once we've done the submission. So let's dive straight in. And the first screen you're presented with asks you for a few pieces of information. Firstly, what type of optimization are you after? Um, and we offer the feed rate optimization and a combined feed rate and uh, chatter elimination or stability optimization. But for this demo, we'll go with feeds. And then I need to tell the system which machine uh, we are optimizing for and which spindle is on that machine. So once we've selected that data, uh, we now need to tell our application about the operations we wish to optimize and how aggressively we would like to optimize those. And then we'll go on to tell it about the tools and finally materials before doing the submission. Here we present you with a list of available operations from your part file, uh, which can be optimized. We screen unsupported parts, uh, unsupported operation types, such as uh, the drilling uh, operations here. Um, and so you can safely select from here, knowing that all of these will be compatible with our application. You can select all or just some, as in this case, where we're going to select sidewalls rough and floor finish. The final choice you need to make here is how aggressive you would like the optimization to be. Essentially, you can view this as how, how much you're going to try to increase the feed rates uh, balanced against the, the strength of the tool, or say how much we would increase spindle speeds uh, towards the upper limit of the machine. Um, the default setting is five, which from experience we find gives a good balanced optimization. Though you could dial it all the way down to one to play it safe or go seven for maximum optimization. Let's keep it at seven for now and save that choice. Then we need to enter some tooling data. Um, you can see on this page here that we are collecting as much data as possible that is available in the CAM package and that's presented here. And uh, we give you two options. If the tool has already been created by another member of your organization, and it's available from import. If not, then you would collect a small amount of information here about the pitch, helix, and rake angles, along with the, the sticking out length of the tool. But here we can see we have the tool already created in the database. So we'll select it and save our selection. And the tool will go green just to tell you that this tool is correctly configured. So we can hit done. And finally, we need to select from our available list of materials. This list will be expanding. Um, so don't worry if a material you're interested in is not here. Just let us know and we can add it to the list. And with that selection done, we can request an optimization. The add-on will now extract the toolpath information along with the stock geometries and we'll submit that to our compute platform for optimization. Optimization times vary depending on the length and complexity of the toolpath, but the SenseNC application will send you an email to notify you when your job is complete. And when it's complete, you can log back in and go to the Path Submissions button and import your you improved toolpaths, and I'll show you how to do that now. So here you can see all of the submissions that have been made for this part, and you can see the status, and you can see that we have a couple running, and this top one is the one that we've just submitted together. 
So if we go to one submitted earlier and it's now succeeded, you're presented with the options to import either some of the toolpaths or all of the toolpaths. It's as easy as making your selection and then selecting import. And next we'll work away in the background and then we will see our imported toolpaths appear in the NC program in the background. Okay, see that's completed and we can see our new imported toolpaths present here in the NC program. And it's as simple as that to obtain an optimization and then update your NC program using those feed rate optimized toolpaths.